Welcome back, my father's behavior squad. It's official. It's official. It's official. It's more all socials official. All the socials know by now. We hit 10K. Yes, we did it. I found out Thursday morning at around 4 or 5 a.m. I guess I couldn't actually sleep at all. I was hanging out with friends on the socials and the lives. And then I was told to just go to sleep. Find out tomorrow morning. I tried doing that and then woke up an hour later and decided to post all over the socials that I hit 10k finally. Guys, we did it. We did it. We we did it. To celebrate. To celebrate. To celebrate, I bought myself a carrot cake. Put the numbers 1 and 0 and then the letter K. That was a magnet. That was happened a few years ago by my dog, Crypto. God bless his soul. Took pictures of it with the candles being lit and posted all over the socials. I if I if I celebrate something, I go all out, especially if it has to do about the podcast. It happens. I'm sorry. It, it's me. I also reached out to several people that wanted to be on this podcast on this episode, and one of them answered back. And it just so happens to be my OG, my original co-host, Michael, who didn't want to miss this moment. Of course not. Who would? Well. Unfortunately, he didn't have his equipment, so we decided to record on Riverside, since that's what's going to take over the podcast for Podcaster's app anyway. I might as well go with Riverside and see what the fuss is all about. So, so this episode is going to sound echoey on his part, and that's because it's my first time using Riverside. I don't know how to work the mechanics, so, you know, it, it's on me. This is on me. He him sound echoey. It's on me. I get it. If it sounds horrible and you guys don't like it, I I understand. I get it. But let's get right to to the show. Let's get right into it. It's gonna be right after the th- uh, intro theme. So let's just hit the intro theme right now. So we hit the 10k, bro. We did it. That's all that. Fuck yeah. I'm so like I don't know. Um, the entire day I'm like I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I just need like <laughs> eight, eight more downloads to go, and then it went to four more downloads, and I'm like, are you serious? And then like I shared it out, and they're like to people and my friends are like yeah i show that to other people and they're like listening to it i was like okay oh, and cool. i'm here cool. waiting and waiting and waiting and nobody's nothing's <laughs> happening and oh my other friends like it's gonna be tomorrow you'll see it tomorrow it'll be fine you'll be fine i'm like no i'm stressing out i want this like right now right here and i just kept um <laughs> refreshing every hour just like all right is it there yet is it there yet no all right you know what so, like at the time, I was on TikTok Live, and um, and I'm just like telling everybody's like everybody's all like, "Did you refresh?" I was like, "Yeah, I did. I just refreshed. Nothing's happening. Everything's fine. Everything's still um, four more downloads, three more downloads." I was like, "Oh, it'll be it'll be fine. It'll be fine." So I finally got off. I left, and I'm like laying down, and then like. An hour later, I wake up and I look at it. I was like, motherfucker. <laughs> Finally, 10,000. Let's go. 
like why didn't you do this while i was like i wanted a, like a reaction a genuine reaction like right right Ten thousand! Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> and it didn't work. And then I'm just like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna like share it right now. I don't care what time it is. It's like three in the morning, four in the morning. I'm gonna share it out to everybody right now. They're like, look what happened! I did it. Nobody's there. Everybody like wakes up in the morning. They're finally saying something to me, and I'm just like, oh, but where are you at three in the morning? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. What are you doing? <laughs> called my mom she's like i'm so proud of you mijo <laughs> like, yes. like because she's been liking all my stuff all my oh, you know, cool. every oh, little cool. thing i do over there and she just likes it i was like and then like one day i called her like and she's like so what are you doing i was like podcast was like oh you're still in that it's like yeah it's like okay I she's still she's like still no i'm not listening i just know when you post it yeah so like, I'm, so, yeah. Uh, I'm glad that you're doing something you know like okay is she still in California? California? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And I'm just like, you know, I talk about your mom, right? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yeah, I heard that. I didn't like it. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, oh. what? I'm like, you know, I talk about your mom, about grandma, the savage grandma stories. She's like, I have, <laughs> I have stories for you. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> but it's so funny, dude. It's not like I love that. It's like. <laughs> She like supports it no matter what. It's like, well, you know, wrestling, and you say your mental health now. Yeah, mental health, all this other stuff. Your 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 mom. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just because of Savage Grandma stories. I was just like wanted to share some stories sure. that happened, and she's like, yeah, I know. It's like, yeah, she was very savage. It's like, wow. <laughs> um. What else? I'm trying to say, like the mental health stuff, the diabetes stuff. They're all in there. Yeah, yeah. What was your favorite um, episode? Do you uh, have any favorite uh, episodes? So I still have to listen to the. You said you did the one with the wrestler. No, not yet. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey! Don't, don't. Oh, oh. all right. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> That's coming, dude. That's coming. That I, I'm. It, the next few weeks, I am definitely doing that. I want to do that. Thank you for reminding me, because I, I definitely want to do that. Yeah, that'll be, um, cool. that'll be cool. It's been a thing I've been wanting to do ever since I started. Ever since we said, like, hey, let's interview a wrestler. Let's see what we can do. We can do. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Sergeant Slaughter is following me on Twitter. Um, yeah, I remember that. So, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, I'm, like, trying to get John Cena to follow me on Twitter. Uh, a few other wrestlers, independent wrestlers, are following me on Twitter. Uh, the one guy that's like a rapper too, or what? Yeah, he's on Instagram though. Instagram, yeah. And he's a singer, R and B <laughs> singer, and he's the one that like he when as soon as I followed him, he messaged me and I'm like you know like checked out the vibe and trying to see how everything's going. I'm like. <laughs> Yeah, hey, what's going on? And like, I forgot all about him throughout the entire year because I was dealing with <laughs> mental stuff. Mm. And like, you you were leaving, and I had um, Kashina Booker, and um, she got left also. Was she the um, one? She the one for, uh, sport. Yeah. What was this? Yeah, yeah. I forgot the name of it. Yeah, she was with the sports one. Sports Kita. Like, she she worked for Sports Kita, and she worked for another one. I just keep forgetting the other one. I think it was um. No DQ was, or something was, like that. No, that that's not problem. no DQ. Something else. Yeah, that was like a 2022. Yeah, because you, you did like an episode with her, and like she said she was okay with it, but then you didn't hear from her ever again. Or... Yeah, shout out to her though. Shout out to her. I was yeah, like, she was good. She like she was hang, she was doing the business. She was standing on business. She was helping out and trying to do the website for us. And yeah, you know, yeah. but you know, like. Um, personal stuff came about and yeah, she had to go. So to me, I'm like, okay, so I had to like get everything back up there. Um, I was dealing with mental health, with my mental health issues. I was dealing with diabetes. Mm-hmm. I and yeah, as so long as like I needed a break, that's when I took that first break after mm-hmm. the first 50 episodes. 
and like I needed that break because I was doing everything. And it was like, all right, so next time we do this, like I can do at least a few of them by myself and then take another break and then take another break. Yeah, and yeah. that's when you came back and we started doing all this stuff again. So that was fun. Um, but other than that, this dude, like, uh, I reached out to him again or recently because I was, he added me on the threads. So I asked him, I was like, hey, thanks for adding me on the thread. He's like, yeah, no problem. And I'm like, dude, he's still talking to me after all this and after all that. I thought he <laughs> totally forgot about me. And um, I'll probably mention this on the episode that I do with him. But I was like, I thought he totally forgot about me and everything. I was like, all right. So ever since then, we've been talking about him. You and I, me and Roderick. Um, Rod, I think Roderick had his cousin up here. We no, we no. weren't we weren't recording, but yeah, um, like I told his cousin about it. He's like, "Oh, that's freaking awesome! That gimmick is awesome." I'm like, "Hell yeah!" Turns out he's a freaking. I gotta say it. I can't say it. I gotta wait until the episode. But yeah, <laughs> um, he he does have a song on Spotify out there right now. No wow. But, okay. So he's a, it was like, so the next time you hear of another interview, it's going to be like me and him talking about wrestling and his career. Okay. okay. It's like, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to start with Right. My first ever uh, wrestling interview, wrestling slash singer interview music. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. All in one, all in one. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Um, dude, ten thousand. Like, how do you feel? Like, you were a part of this, also. Yeah, it does. I mean, I mean, like, was that just that that many people had to listen to me talk? <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> but you were a part of this, also. Like, I brought you into this because yeah, yeah, we needed That's it. Fun. We like wanted to have some of our time on there. And I feel like we we accomplished so much. Like even for like what seventy five episodes that you were in, maybe eighty, yeah, maybe yeah. more. Like seventy the episodes that we were in, we accomplished so much. We brought in so much. Um, yeah, and had a lot of fun doing it. I think. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, when I told you about it that we're gonna do this episode, you're like, "Yeah, let's do it." Um, yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. You're like, "I'm happy you kept it going." I was like, "Yeah, me too." Yeah, that's yeah. cool. You know, because yeah, that's a lot of a lot of work, a lot of, a lot of you know, more than people, more than people realize, realize, I think. I think. Yeah. Um, and I told you I was gonna tell you the reason why I want to, like, I kept it going. So here's the reason why I kept it going: it's because I needed some some um stability i needed some mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i i needed something to look forward to basically yeah. yeah i know i said a lot of stories about how i became a wrestling fan like i said in the last episode i'll say it again in this episode i come from a troubled home my mom and daddy my mom and stepdad used to fight a lot so mm -hmm. i one day I went to my next door neighbor's house and her son was watching TV wrestling, showed me WrestleMania five. No oh, wow. <laughs> Hulk Hogan, oh, wow. Hulk Hogan versus not not even WrestleMania five. He just said like, Hey look, Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant. And I'm like, Ooh. Oh, that was ah, three. Ooh. Was that three? Yeah. yeah. Um five was, five, the, mega five was the mega powers. Oh, well he had it on videotape. Yeah, yeah he had it on videotape. Three. And it was that one of those years where, like, they showed it again throughout the entire year. It's like, because this was like the biggest match ever every year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, like, they showed that one. And I saw it again that later that year. And I'm like, oh, wow, you know. Um, he showed me that match. And I'm like, you know, became an instant fan because, you know, Hulk Hogan and stuff. Yeah. And then he showed me Macho Man versus Hulk Hogan. And I'm just like, so I'm a Hulk Hogan fan. I'm a Hulkamaniac. <laughs> like the way he talked, or, ah, brother. <laughs> um, let me tell you something, brother. Uh, the power of the Hulkamaniacs. Uh, take your pill. Take your vitamins. Drink your milk. All that stuff. Take your pills. Yeah, I, I take your freaking 
<laughs> diabetes <laughs> pills. Like, oh, yeah. No. Oh, no. Like I'm definitely doing that. I'm listening to him at um, to this day. Yeah. Um. And even then, it's just like, all right, this is this is an escape for me from there, yeah. from yeah. the home to here. Even when he touched her, even when he slapped her, when even when he punched her, even when he like made everybody cry, made me cry, even when everything was going on. All right, I'm going next door. Um, next door neighbor said. Here's some comic books. Here's some toys. Here's some horror movies. He introduced me to the com- comic books. He introduced me to oh, Freddy cool. Krueger. He introduced me to Freddy Krueger. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he introduced me to wrestling. I gotta get him on here. I've been saying that for like oh, two years. I, I like, I reached out to him. I'm like, hey, do you want to be on the podcast? Because you're the one that like introduced me to this stuff. He's like, yeah, mm-hmm. man, of course. And I'm just like, okay, cool. I took a break. He's like, when's the next episode? I was like, oh shit, you're listening? It's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, that's fucking awesome. I'm, I I appreciate it, dude. Yeah, yeah. And he's all like, yeah, no problem. Like, it's you, dude. It's like, we've known each other since we were little. And I'm just that's like, cool. dude, I'm gonna interview you one day. Just watch. <laughs> like, it was like you and your brother took me in, and I appreciate you all. And you, your mom too, and it was like. Y'all brought me in. Like, I feel like y'all are my, like, second uh, family. And they were. Mm-hmm. Like, raised me till I was, like, 12. No one. No one. And even when the whole thing, when I freaking left to another country, they're like, they missed me. And shit, and they're, like, telling me, it's like, come back. And I did. <laughs> but, like, damn, dude. Um, so they did that. They introduced me to wrestling. I was over there for the entire time. And then, dude, here this is the reason why because we love talking about it. We get lost into it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's cool. It's, that's definitely a good escape, you know. That because it's like fantasy. It's like he, you know, real life action heroes. Right, 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 right. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa. And I'm Dawn. And if you've ever watched a TV show and thought to yourself, oh my god, that season finale plot twist was absolutely bonkers. Or seen a movie and thought, wow, I need to talk to somebody about this train wreck immediately. Then we think you'll fit right in with our podcast, I Hate It, Let's Watch It. We watch TV shows like Riverdale and Emily in Paris. And movies like Deep Water, Killer Sofa, Rubber, and Deadly Illusions. And we give them the total rinse they deserve. It's basically group therapy for movie masochists. So come check us out wherever you stream podcasts. Hi, everyone. This is JJ, the co-founder of Good Pods. If you haven't heard of it yet, Good Pods is like Goodreads or Instagram, but for podcasts. It's new, it's social, it's different, and it's growing really fast. There are more than 2 million podcasts, and we know that it is impossible to figure out what to listen to. On Good Pods, you follow your friends and podcasters to see what they like. That is the number one way to discover new shows and episodes. You can find Good Pods on the web or download the app. Happy listening. Hey, if I drank an energy drink now, I'd be up till, be up till five. five. <laughs> yeah, that was my problem on that day that I was like staying up till like three in the morning, four in the morning. Yeah. Because yeah. I was like, all right, I'm just going to chill here. And then I went to sleep and then came back and I was like, ah. Now I can't. I was like, I don't want to go back on and yeah. tell people, "Hey, I'm back on." But no, it's like it <laughs> happened. So I just like reposted all over the place, Twitter, uh, <laughs> the threads, uh, Instagram, <laughs> freaking YouTube, um, where else? TikTok, everywhere. Dude. I was all over the place. <laughs> I wouldn't mind right, staying so up late. Oh, go ahead. I, right. Well, I wouldn't mind it if I could be useful, but it's just like I'm awake, but I'm like a zombie. If I was accomplishing something, I would I'd be fine on that. Can mark a clip. Oh, I didn't know I could do that on here. Um, are you on your phone? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta find all my stuff. I know I have it, I just don't know where it's at. This is awesome, dude. Um, I don't know. They just told me like, all right, you gotta re- use Riverside from now on. And I'm like, 
really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, fine. And then, like, I use it for one night, and it's like, I hate it. No, but really? Then, like, no, the really. first time I'm using it to, you know, use it as a interview type where I'm talking to you, since you don't have your um, your stuff, and you're on the phone, I didn't know I could do that. So, like, hopefully this episode goes well. Yeah. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> for real. Um... 10,000 episodes, I think you've been a freaking part of that, like, through it all, man. Like, I send it out, I post it, you like it, you, you're you mostly there to tell me, like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, what, what, what made you say, hey, yeah, I'll do it, I'll hang out with you? It's just been so long, and I always like doing it. It's just I wasn't really able to. It no, I mean, yeah, I I know that. But what made you decide, decide like, hey, I'll I'll start, I'll do the episode, the the, the podcast, starting on episode three with you. Oh, like, oh, what made you decide to like come and in, come into it with me? I mean, it's just it, you know, it sounds like a cool thing. It's talking about something I know. Um, Right. Talking with an old friend that you know they ain't seen in a while, so I mean, there's perfect situation. For real, love that. Um, yeah, like you're the first one I send it out to. Like, hey, like, do you want to talk about WrestleMania? <laughs> you're yeah, like, yeah. yes, let's go. Yeah. And then yeah. they got you yeah. on board, and I was like, yeah. And, like the, the many times that I've that I got you on the episode, and you're like, I can't do it, and I'm like, okay, but I want to do it. Like I know you do, but I can't do it. And I'm just like, all right. Well, and then, um, and then yeah, I get tired. You know, you get tired, and I'm not gonna lie. You know, you want to do something, but sometimes you're just you're just. I don't know. You just feel like shit. Like I didn't even. Sometimes I didn't even want to get out of bed if I didn't have to. Right. But you told me before, like, I need this. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> You're like, no, I need this. <laughs> like, All right. I, I understand. I know what you mean. Like, I need this too. <laughs> and, like, I was trying to get you to, like, to tell you I understand what you mean because I need this also. Yeah. yeah. And it was something that I needed to do also because I was just going crazy. I have so much thoughts in my head. As you can tell by every episode from now on, from I don't know, I don't know when I started doing the whole monologue in the first fifteen minutes of it. It just naturally happened. I was like I said one day, it's like let me type this down. Let me type down my feelings, and yeah. then yeah. like fifteen minutes of it, and it started out with just ten minutes, and then I'm just like fifteen minutes, and now it's like twenty minutes. I'm like, dude, I got a lot to say. <laughs> like, yeah, why? but I like it though. I think it like, makes it. it, makes it... It makes the show, I think. It does. It does now, but at the time, we would, just, we would just do, like, some intros. Like, all right, five-second intros. Like, hey, we're back. We're here. <laughs> blah, blah. And then, like, I started listening to other podcasts. I started listening to, like, some great professional podcasts. I started listening to indie podcasters. Everybody that I talk to, mostly, on Twitter. Okay. Okay. And I was just, like, listening to their podcast and listening to how they start the show. Listening to... How professionals start the show, and I'm just like, mm-hmm. integra- I'm integrating everything from what they've done to uh, this, um, and I just felt like I needed to add in like something in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, you know what, guys, let's let's just talk about something else other than wrestling. I know you're gonna hear me babble out about wrestling, but hey, here's a little bit something about my life. Here's something about my grandma. Here's something about <laughs> what my mom did to me. <laughs> Not my mom, <laughs> but what my mom did that she like dropped me off in another country and just like, you know, told we're gonna live here from now on. We're gonna go back uh, over over to um United States, but you're gonna live here for now on. Because I asked her, I was like, Hey, can I live here for now on? And she's like, You sure? Like, yeah. Like, all right, worst fucking year and a half of my life, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> but she even said, like, are you sure? Like, yeah, no problem. I come back, and she's like, what did they feed you? I was like, nothing. Beans. That's it. 
It's like, why are you so skinny? I was like, I don't know, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, but for some reason, I just wanted to like include everything about everything else other than wrestling. I wanted to put out there that I love wrestling, but I also love this. I also love to talk about TV shows. I also love to talk about comic books. Um, what, 2022, we did, I did, um, you were gone at the time. I did um, wrestlers in horror movies. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I listed all of them out. Yeah. Like the entire, well, on Instagram, time, too. Instagram, yeah, on Instagram. And it's like, uh, I should have done that for this year. I don't know why I didn't. But uh, for every day of, on October, I listed out a wrestler in a horror movie. Mm-hmm. And then I included that in the podcast at the very end on October 31st on Halloween. It's like, hey, this is a Halloween episode. I'm going to include everybody that I posted on Instagram and put it here. I didn't finish it, but, you know, <laughs> it is there. So for this year, I thought, let's just, the entire month, let's just do horror movies. Let's do something else other than wrestling. Yeah. And it became such a good thing. Like, it gave me, it gave me more downloads. But at the same time, I think I lost some viewers, some listeners, because yeah. I'm just no longer talking about wrestling. I was talking yeah. about horror movies, and then I posted it out. I was like, I want to know your horror movies also. I want to know about this. I want to know about that. And, uh, dude, people kept messaging me and telling me, all right, this is what I like. This is the type of everything. And I had to like read it on the podcast and everything. And it was yeah. so awesome. I love that. Yeah, so yeah, I guess it yeah, gets interaction. Yeah, the interactions were great. The in- the interactions were great. I like I love doing that. I'm doing that now because I'm bringing back an older episode, another bonus episode. Basically, it's um, what was it called? It was uh, screaming into the void, and yeah, uh, it was a co-host, another co-host. We did uh, five songs that shaped your life. No, oh, wow. She did oh, wow. five each. She did five each. I did five each, and we alternated, and it just like it, like gave us a sense of who we were, who we are. I even yeah. mentioned yeah. one song from high school because there was this up to two teacher there, and he was like helping us and like telling us uh, something to do. And then when I gave him my report, he told me that I was going to be something one day with my oh, wow. creativity, with my talent. And I'm just like, I shouted him out on the episode. I don't know his name, but like, hey. <laughs> huh. Like, thank you for doing this for me. That's cool. cool. And then now I'm just like, all right, let me do another um, episode. Now we're doing Glow. We were doing Heels. Dude, that show is amazing. Yeah, I, I, how many how many seasons are there now? It's two, and then it got canceled because oh, um, no. dumbass decided to pick at the line and say something stupid. Oh, with the fag, the fag stuff. stuff. Yeah, they were on strike, and he said something dumb, and oh, like next thing you know, the show's canceled. I was like, I don't even know if it was his fault. It was just like got canceled. <laughs> but the other show that I'm doing is Glow, and yeah, I'm yeah. like, like, dude, this show is awesome like i'm bringing up stuff that i even didn't even know about either um there's this character on the show that loved 1974 wrestlers like he had superstar billy graham on the wall everything um he told the story of stan hansen versus bruno sammartino and how stan hansen almost broke his vertebrae so he like mentioned it like because there was a girl that got hurt, so he mentioned that, and so I looked it up, and I was like, I did, I posted the whole interview and talked about it, and of course gave the guy credit for posting it, but I posted the whole, the whole interview, and I was like, oh, I didn't even know that happened, and then no, I went no. back to the, and then I went back to the old glue, and there, found out there was a girl that like broke her arm doing a basic ass move. <laughs> Glow, what, that, was, that was. I know it was I wrestling back in the day, but the one, the new one is a like an episodic show, right? Like it's yeah, not yeah, three it's hours. Three hours. It's not three hours. No, it's um three seasons. 
it's on Netflix, and it's yeah. It's I've fun. seen a couple episodes with the brunette and the blonde. Were yeah. they like? Were they yeah. Like, yeah. Like I brought it up on. I'm on episode seven, I believe. Uh, yeah, season two of episode watching. seven. Like I haven't seen it since like what since it came out, so I totally forgot all about it. Yeah, I me mean, And then one day, one day I did a poll on Twitter, and I was like, hey. Uh, after Heels is done, what other show would you like me to do? Or movie? And I said The Wrestler. Um, what else? There were some other shows in there also. But The Wrestler was one of them. Uh, Glow was another one. And then a few other uh, movies about wrestling. Oh, uh, Fighting with My Family. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, you know, so they all show, chose Glow. And I was like, all right, cool. Like, I know so much about Glow. And I started talking about Glow and how... Like when I was little, I was watching a an episode of Glow, and there were in the skit where one of the girls was like, you know, she's hot as hell and everything, and then like a caller calls in and he starts like talking creepy to her and it's like saying mm, baby girl and everything, and that's when my mom walks in, <laughs> and I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> And then I get grounded for doing for watching that because she doesn't she didn't approve of that. I was like, no, it's not any, no, it's not bad, it's nothing bad, I promise. <laughs> and then too late, she said no. <laughs> and I was just like, fine. shit, okay, fine. So it's something that I wanted to do. I had watched the show like three years earlier, and then, like I said, totally forgot all about it. And then watching it the second time, you like realize, like, oh my god, Easter eggs of wrestling here and there. I didn't even know. Um, I I for, totally didn't even know that Hulk Hogan's daughter was in it, Brooke Hogan. Oh, really? Oh, like on what like, one episode? On one episode, she oh, like okay. looked totally different. I didn't know that was her. Uh, Carlita was in it. Um, <laughs> Funko Funkosaurus guy was in it. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it's a bunch of people. Chavo Guerrero is the um, is, is the stunt coordinator because his um, brother, uncle, Mondo Guerrero was the stunt coordinator for the original show. Oh, okay. okay. So he's giving them tips. Um, awesome Kong is in it. She's giving okay. them tips. Okay. And I'm just like, this is awesome. And then the the director in the show, in the thing he has a mm-hmm. podcast which has like 2000 freaking episodes and he's a he's interviewing all these people that are in the show and i'm just like it's hard to go back and listen to any of them because they're from like i gotta scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll until i find it so i'm looking for interviews from all the actors all the actresses all everybody that worked on the show and it's pretty it's like oh my god this is freaking time consuming and i love it it's giving me something to do basically right mm-hmm. and that's what i've been wanting to do so yeah, that's, what yeah. we, that's what we set out to do you and me like we were wanting something to do we wanted to talk about wrestling and here we are talking more about wrestling yeah, I remember that we did because I was living in the apartment. Then the first one, I think we were talking about. I know we talked about some NWO stuff. Oh yeah, the first one and DX. Maybe it was DX the first one. The Attitude Era, basically. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about lots of Attitude Era stuff. That was our first episode together. We were talking about the Attitude Era. Yeah. yeah. How, like, we said suck it to everybody uh, <laughs> at school, the teachers, the, the kids, everybody. Yeah, that one, I think we were on, what did we record, like, three or four hours? Oh, the first episode was, like, three hours? Yeah. You know, definitely. That was funny. That was fun, though. It was. It was, man. I, I fucking enjoyed it. I, like, that was episode three, dude. We're, like, 150 episodes later. Yeah, that's crazy. And I'm just like, how am I still doing this? How is this, this even happening? Yeah, and then you kept it going. That's what I was saying. Um. Yeah, I kept it going. It was like, just kept it going because um, give me something to look forward to. Mm-hmm. I spent all year last year pushing it out to everybody that would come into the chat room 
where I was at. Um, I was on Tumblr. They had a live. They started doing lives and everything for like an entire year, like test it out, see the what it was gonna be like. It was be- basically beta testing for real. Um, yeah. So I started yeah. doing the podcast there, and like talking about it, doing a whole hour episodes. People would come in, listen to it, leave, say hi, send me gifts, all that stuff, and that's where I probably got most of my following. A hundred. 34, 135 Spotify followers later. Yeah, that's probably where I got most of my following. Probably, yeah. yeah. Was... Like, people know about you, dude. Basically, really... from there, really... people know about you. Um, <laughs> when you came back, even when you left, they're like, they're like, where did he go? Like, he went to go, you know, do lawyer stuff. Like, yeah. He went to the school to do some lawyer stuff. So I was like, all right. And then you come back. So, oh, my God, he's back. That's awesome. I was like, yeah, I'm so freaking happy. And they're like, we're proud of you guys. You guys are awesome. We love it. And I'm like, they're very supportive. Dude. Like, was, my crew was very supportive. That they're just like, want, they wanted all of us to win. Yeah. yeah. And we were doing it. We were fucking winning. Hey, it's Evo. We're going to get back to the episode you're listening to, but first, let me tell you about Dark Fate Creations. Dark Fate Creations are candles that are vibrant, colorful, marble tops, amazing, mouth-watering fragrances, fueled by lovely braided cotton wicks. Paper threads woven into every cotton wick for a clean, romantic, slow, and consistent burn. Each candle is unique from the next as they are hand-mixed and hand-poured, right in Grass Valley, California. They use only coconut and soy waxes for a safer, cleaner, and longer burn time. That's almost 72 hours. That's like binging on all 130 episodes of the podcast. All fragrance blends have been heavily researched. Dark Fate Creations not only care about the look, fragrance, and quality of their candles and their other products, but also the effects they have in their customers' homes. So go to darkfatecreations.com. The link will be in the show notes. In a world where true crime meets the supernatural and the unexplained. Where true crime and chills go hand in hand. Welcome to Total Conundrum, the podcast that explores the dark, the eerie, and the downright mysterious. Join us as we embark on a spine-tingling journey through the mysteries that keep you up at night. We're diving deep into true crime stories, uncovering the most baffling cases, and exploring the twisted minds behind them. But we don't stop there. We're also exploring the paranormal, from haunted houses to cryptids and all the creepy things that go bump in the night. Get ready for some supernatural thrills. And what sets us apart? Prepare for a dose of dark humor as we navigate through the creepy and bizarre. (laughs) We've got it all. Bone-chilling tales, banter, and mind-boggling conundrums. You won't know whether to scream or laugh. (laughs) So grab your favorite snack, turn down the lights, and join us for a roller coaster ride of true crime and the supernatural sprinkled with a bit of comic banter. Stay curious, stay captivated, and let's dive into the world of Total Conundrum. Now available on your favorite podcast platform. Get ready to be captivated, creeped out, and cracked up with Total Conundrum. What do you think about The Rock right now? I was gonna say it's pretty cool to see him um, back in his old old form. <laughs> I it's saw that. I was stuff. like, he's gonna love stuff. this. I was like, I know you're gonna love this. <laughs> it's funny like, that I, like I all these young people are like, all these young people are like, they're shocked that he's a bad guy because they've never seen him as a bad guy. Never seen him as a bad guy. Right. I mean, so it's like 2003 again. We, 2003 again. Yeah, we, yeah, we know about Hollywood yeah. Rock. 
but he comes back as this like bat more. I think he's more like batter than he's more of a heel than he was as a Hollywood. He's now more. Oh like, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Oh yeah. Like I don't. Because he was more goofy, but uh, not goofy, but more goofy. But I don't know. I don't know. This is more serious now because yeah, it is about family and the whole bloodline thing. Yeah, it's more serious. Yeah, like he's, serious. like he's. It's funny to see him come back though. Like, like, back, though. like it's like in Hollywood. Like now he's Hollywood. the father figure, the father figure. Instead, of the <laughs> instead of the young guy. He like he's the wild now. Samoan he's the now. Wild Samoan now. Yes, that's what reminded me that he's like this dude went yeah, made a career out of himself. Comes back and now he's just. You think I care? Like I can have you fired like that, and I'm like. Well, yeah, especially since he's on the board. <laughs> he's on the board, and I thought for sure like that's what he meant when he said he was gonna be you know, head of the table. I'm like, yeah. Oh, so you yeah. decided to put yourself on the board, make your daughter the youngest um, commissioner on NXT, general manager, <laughs> whatever. And then come back and say you want to shout out the title. Okay, cool. That's great. <laughs> I do have a theory though. I wonder what what you think. Um, what you think? Do you think he's more involved, like regularly, regularly, to be close to his daughter since she was getting all those threats and stuff? Like, you think that's part of it, or you think that has nothing to do with it? Um, like why he's there more often, like like almost every week. To protect her, probably yes. Well, just well, even if not physically, not but just physically, you know, just, just in yeah, case, just yeah. In case, yeah. Keep yeah. keep an eye on her, yeah. Like, dude, like, yeah, that's yeah. daughter right there. You're not. Why not? Like almost like, like, keep... like almost like if that wasn't if happening, that wasn't would he happen, not be there as much? But since much. that is, it's like, well, it's a good excuse to write him more into the story. Okay, okay, yeah, I see what you're doing. I see what you're going with this. Um, yeah, um, if she wasn't getting threatened, I don't think he would be like, that's what I mean. Um, but at the same time, like they've been talking about the whole rock versus Roman since his TV show. Yeah. 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 And like that, and everybody's all like, why is this happening now? It was like, it's all of a sudden. Like those of you all you didn't watch the T V show, Young Rock, okay? Yeah. This has, this storyline's been happening since like two years ago when he started his own T V show and he made reference of that. And like nobody watched it, so they're like they didn't know anything about it. it was, like just because he didn't know, it was, like it was planted over there. It was said like, Hey, we're gonna wrestle one day. It's gonna be at a WrestleMania. Yeah, but he still has the belt, so like, why not? Speaking of, I have to say one thing: I'm getting sick of Cody Rhodes. One, two. I I call him Mid Card Cody. That's my name for him. Oh my god! Uh, And uh, three. I hope he finishes his damn story and leaves, like for good. And I'm not talking about kayfabe. Wow, look at you. <laughs> like what happened there? Like two oh years ago God. you were on board. Like I wasn't no, not on board. I, was like, I wasn't on board with him at all. I was just like, okay. I don't right. I mean he has moments where it's like, oh that's nice, okay, but I'm sick of his damn story. Yeah, the story should have just like been done like a year ago. He should have just chose Seth Rollins, give him the belt, and then that's it. Right, and then you won your belt, your dad's proud, he's juking and jiving in heaven, whatever. Now go away. Oh my god. <laughs> now go away. Uh, Roman Reigns as the champion for like a good three years. I like it. I like it. <laughs> you like it? Good. I like it because, like it because who else is it going to be gonna that's going to keep the interest? I know even you know like even Gunter. Like I liked him better as Kozlov, Kozlov, but that's another story. Um... um <laughs> He, uh, he has, no has no charisma. He's got a he's chop. Got a chop. Okay, well, okay, well, imagine, imagine seeing a chop for chop. three years. Is that going to keep people coming to the, to the stadiums? stadiums and... and I don't think so. Don't think so. You know, and I get it, oh, Cody. Okay, Cody. you tore your pack. Fine. 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 It's healed already. It's healed already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. 
um, double double E. Who is it? Who is it? Kozlov is that the? Oh yeah, remember Vladimir Kozlov? Vladimir, that's his name. Because that's what he reminds me of. He right? He reminds me of the the ninety eight cent store figurine of Kozlov. Damn. <laughs> remember those when you'd go and your parents would be like, "Oh, here they have wrestling guys here," and you're like, oh, "No, no." Oh, these ones are so much cheaper. Like, yeah, those aren't even real guys. The ones where like they were all pink, they wouldn't even like paint the the tights or anything. And they had the holes in the back so you could like put them on your finger, and that's how you play with them. In the butt, yeah. I had a Roddy Roddy, Roddy Piper one and a Hulk Hogan one. It was just like, are you? I I can't do this. And not even the eyes were flesh color. Flesh color. That's funny. That's funny. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah. yeah. But no, I like the, yeah, the whole Roman thing. Roman I would rather watch would him rather for half an hour, half an hour, not even wrestle, not just even like wrestle, talk, just than talk than talk than watch most of the product. Watch most of the product. But you know, maybe I'm maybe I'm not a true I'm aficionado true. of. Pro wrestling, you know. I drink my Miller High Life in a glass. Oh my god. <laughs> we know you're a true fan. You you used to cosplay as the rock back in high school. We, yeah. We know yeah. it. We know it. We saw it. Yeah, those were the days. I remember me and Josh. Um, we were big we were NWO big guys at the time. We would, time. We, we actually painted actually bats. Painted he had bats. the black and white. I had the red and black. And we would pretend like um, I was Buff Bagwell and he was Steiner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wish I still had that bat. It was pretty cool. Oh, freaking yeah. Um, remember when I cosplay sting that did you do that for that wasn't for a talent show or anything was it no it was for halloween okay okay and then he just retired and i'm just like oh shit so everybody on oh, yeah. twitter everybody on twitter had their like face sting face paint and all that stuff all the pictures like i throw in mine and they're like oh my god when was that I was like oh, like way back way back, yeah. way back. I wish he would have waited one more year, though. It would have been, what, four, uh, like 40 years? It was like 85. No, not 80. It was like 85 to would have been 2025. Yeah, it would have been, it would have been that. He'll be back for another short run, though. They always do. Undertaker's talking about doing another match, which... I hope he's done. I don't want to yeah. see Undertaker ever again. No, his last couple, well, I don't know if that, the last couple, but, like, that match with Goldberg, well, that was a couple years ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think his, la- his last appearance was on NXT, dropped yeah. Yeah. Um, Braun Breaker into the table. Right. I'm right. like, are you serious? Why? <laughs> and it had nothing to do with anything. He just wanted to come out there. Just, just, yeah. yeah. And I thought it for sure it was because he was doing the whole sit-up. Um, that no, no. Do. yeah, but no, he just like came out as a American badass, right? Right, did the whole choke slam, and because he was using a bike, I was like, What? So, you no. know, they can use this gimmick, Come right? On. Like, right. who were those other guys? The those twins, they did that before he did it, Ace and Skull, yeah, yeah, the, Skull yeah, they, yeah they, there you go. There you go. That was amazing. Um, we're coming up with 40 years of WrestleMania. What is your favorite WrestleMania of all time now that it's like almost at 40? Dang. Like a whole like a card, card or? The whole card, yeah. The whole card. I'd probably have to go with five, I guess, if it has to be the whole card. Wow. The whole card? Is five with the whole card? Um, WrestleMania five, yeah. Yeah. 
I want to say WrestleMania 17. That was in that Seattle. Was Seattle. Uh, Hogan versus Rock. Oh, was that seven? What was the one where they were in Seattle and like John Cena pretended to battle rap against Jay Z? I thought that was seventeen. That was like around the twentieth or nineteen. Okay, he didn't it could even be come out to wrestle. He just came out. Wait, did he come out to wrestle? I don't think so. To... He, he just did that battle. Have... Rap. Yeah, he was supposed to. Yeah, he was supposed to do the battle rap with Jay Z. Yeah, and then he used a cardboard cutout or whatever. Cardboard cutout or whatever. I so I know I, twenty so was know um, Benoit, Benoit and ben Triple H and Shawn Michaels. And Michaels. So it could have been nineteen. Mike nineteen, because nineteen that, yeah. Because he was supposed um, to have a rap battle against Jay Z at WrestleMania nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but Jay Z pulled out due to other commitments. Fabulous was also set to take part. <laughs> And remember, he had um, Jay Z dressed up as Austin Powers, and Fabulous was the mini me guy in the uh, cardboard the cutout. The rap battle took place on Sunday Night Heat instead, with Cena facing off against the cardboard cutouts of Jay Z and Fab. <laughs> Vince McMahon was ser- was furious with Cena's lyrics. Yeah. Oh. Um, um. Other commitment with his wife, whatever. What was, which one was which was, one was, was was eighteen? Was that Rock and Stone Cold? And then seventeen yeah, was was that Rock Triple H and Undertaker? Yeah, Rock and Stone Cold for the last time. Yeah, and Rock yeah. won that one. I think that made him even. I think or it was either two two or one and three for Stone Cold. And I think the year before was when Vince joined Rock or uh, see Austin. Okay, so that wasn't Undertaker. Or, um, which one was the one Undertaker and Triple H where Triple H, um, like accidentally actually hit Undertaker with the sledgehammer? If that wasn't the main event, that I guess that could have been eighteen or nineteen. I thought it was seven. So. Remember when he was taking Undertaker? I mean. Triple H for the last ride, and then he hits down with the sledgehammer, and like it, it, it the pole goes through. That was seventeen. Oh, okay. Like the handle goes through or whatever. Through or whatever. Yeah. Um. What was another WrestleMania moment? Favorite WrestleMania moment. Um, oh well. How about you? Well, how about you? WrestleMania twelve. Was that Diesel and Shawn Michaels? Shawn Michaels? That was Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart. Bret um, Hart. The Iron Man match. Yeah, okay. And I well, think that was Diesel the, versus the Undertaker. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I mean, there's a lot of moments. But, like, yeah, whole cards, it's hard to... Because later on, especially Attitude Era, they always had filler. Like, I hate to say it, but they would have... I just remember a lot of pay-per-views I'd watch. They'd have a lot of Dudley Boy matches in the beginning. Which I don't know why they would make them the first one. Yeah, those... uh, Yeah. You would just hear the fireworks, you know, for their music to start. Um, Believe it or not, one WrestleMania match... Well, so it wasn't a good match, but I liked the story and everything was... I believe it was seven when, um, no, it wasn't seven. No, seven was when Macho Man got retired from Ultimate Warrior. Which one was it when it was Rick Rude versus Ultimate Warrior? Was that six? No. Was it when he wore the, his, the, his wife's face on the tights? That was Robert's wife. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. What was the... Maybe it wasn't... Was, WrestleMania 5 okay. was Ultimate Warrior versus Rick Rude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 When he... um, Ultimate Warrior was... He hit his splash, but he landed on Rick Rude's back instead of flipping him over. Oh, God, yeah. I think that's the uh, one where Keenan held Ultimate Warrior's leg down so he couldn't kick out. 
that might have been one SummerSlam. Probably. Okay. 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 Um, okay. and then trip. Uh, what was it? Macho Man Randy Savage versus Ric Flair at WrestleMania Eight. No. Okay. No. Okay. I don't because remember that a lot. I. It's like, yeah. Because then that whole year, dude, I hated watching that. It's like, oh god, again, 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 and then like SummerSlam happened at Wembley. And oh, it no. made no sense. Like I, I covered it. I like I freaking said it on the podcast. Like, why what? It didn't make <laughs> any sense. Um Mr. Perfect was supposed to say who he was gonna be in like in the corner of and then Ric Flair comes out with him and they just attack him. Yeah. yeah. And it just double count out or double disqualification. It was, and it then was, I don't remember. before that, it was Shawn Michaels was ravishing. No, not ravishing. The other guy, Rick Martel, double count out also. Hmm. Um, there was a double. DQ, there, was a, there was a DQ match in there. I was like, why is this even a SummerSlam? If you're just gonna DQ and double count out everything, like I didn't even like it. Yeah, that was. I guess that was kind of like a it was very forgettable because I honestly don't recall a lot of that. I remember seven. I remember nine. But. like to drink wine? Do you like to talk about your favorite things and rank them in categories? Then you have come to the right place. Welcome to The Sip List, a podcast where, you guessed it, we drink lots of wine and make lists of all our favorite things. My name's Amanda, and each week my guest and I will review a favorite wine we're drinking, or if they aren't cool enough to drink wine, then the lame beverage of their choice. And then we will rank our top five favorites of different things in different categories. You can expect to hear all kinds of things, from favorite horror movies to favorite Disney characters, favorite true crime books to favorite women in history. The episodes will be diverse, but they will always include wine, lists, and lots of laughs. You can find The Sip List on social media. On Facebook, just search The Sip List Pod. Be sure to like the page and join the private Facebook group for the most up-to-date info on everything that's happening. You can also find us on Instagram at The Sip List Pod. I'm really excited to bring you guys some fun and amazing content, and I hope you'll join me on this journey. And until next time, whenever life is tough, just keep sipping. You remember nine? Wasn't oh nine? yeah, I love WrestleMania yeah. nine. What was WrestleMania nine? When they went to when Caesars. Caesars. Oh God, yeah. Hulk Hogan, A lot of people hate it, but I loved I WrestleMania, WrestleMania nine. nine. Yeah, res- I mean. Where Hogan ended up coming out, winning the belt anyway. Oh, the black eye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like who? Who hit you? Like uh, I don't, a parasail. Hit. Yeah, that was yeah, supposedly that was the real story. story. But remember, they said money did it at the gym the night before or something like that. A parasail accident, and then we look at Brutus the Barber Beefcake, and like that's what happens at a parasail accident. Yeah. yeah. Right. He right. had to have reconstructive surgery. You are not going to use that excuse. Come on. Your best yeah. friend had a parasail accident. Why would you say that? <laughs> right. Uh, and they uh, said, they and, said and, but the story for Beefcake, beefcake was that, remember, they hit him with the briefcase. On, oh, yeah. They, they, even, they, they even mentioned, they, yeah, they even mentioned it after, like, before that. Or like, that he had a parasail accident that whole year when it was, like, two years prior. Like, what? Yeah, right. It was right. way before, yeah. And it's like, oh, last year I had a parasail accident, oh, blah, 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 and I had to have reconstructive surgery. And then they hit him with a briefcase. And at the time, two years ago, they were like scared to hit um, Brutus Beefcake in the face or something mm-hmm. because of his face. And now it's just like, okay, let's see what happens right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that was the one. The, the match I liked at WrestleMania 9 was probably... Um, what was that? Well, the sh- I thought the Shawn Michaels and Tatanka was good. 
It was up until they like kind of out. No, it wasn't. Uh, yeah. Lex Luger versus Mr. Perfect, but yeah. his back yeah. his back was hurting. So like you couldn't get anything good out of him. Right. And then right. It was windy, so Lex Luger's like little fireworks kept Yeah. Yeah. Oh my From god. The it, was, um, it was ridiculous. <laughs> um that whole sh- that whole show is just like so out of it. Like why is this even happening? <laughs> Uh, I like. I, no, I, I know a lot of people hate it, but I like it. What was it? Undertaker was John Gonzalez. <laughs> yeah. With the chloroform. With the chloroform, <laughs> and then with Harvey yeah. Whippleman as his manager. Oh god, downtown Bruno. Yeah, I love yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> um, then the two doinks. Oh, doink versus crush, and then the other yeah. guy comes yeah. in, and. It made no sense. Yeah, when he went under the ring or whatever. Um, I think it was the first time I saw um, was this guy with the whistle from ECW? The one that was on. Uh, um, he was a manager of Sabu and RBD. Oh, um, and um, he was in there as a referee, and it was like, ah, no, nah, 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 nah. I was like, what? <laughs> What's he doing here? Oh, oh. Um, Luna Vachon's first appearance, of course. Yeah, with Shawn yeah, Michaels. With Shawn Michaels and... And... and Sensational Sherry, who was in um, Tatanka's Corner. Tatanka. Like, why? Why? Like, just because. Okay. Well, supposedly they get back at Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels. Shit, that's like a whole six month issue right there. Because they were just like, they did the whole mirror thing and then. Right, right. And then remember remember the Steiners versus versus the Head Shrinkers? shrinkers. Oh, God, yeah. (laughs) The Steiner Driver? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was like, uh, yeah, he was like yeah. yeah. No, he was like, no, he, was like he hit him with the Steiner line. No, I think he hit him with the Frankensteiner. That's the Frankensteiner. I think it was. My, and then there was, um, oh, Bob Backlund versus Razor Ramon. Remember Razor won with a small package? Yeah, a whole wrestling move. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, was that a wrestling move? That's a wrestling move. Or oh, MMA okay. kicks. What was it? What was it? MMA kicks from Shawn Michaels. Oh, oh, oh. I thought you said kids. It's like, what's the MMA um, kids? What's his face? <laughs> um, uh, Jim Ross first appearance. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. yeah. And he was and young. He was young. <laughs> he was young, and he called a shot every time Shawn Michaels hit a super kick. Oh, yeah. Shawn Michaels yeah. with the MMA kick. I'm like, what? That's funny. <laughs> Yeah, that was a funny one though because well, I mean, you know, I was younger, but I liked the whole story with like Heenan coming in backwards on the camel. And... Yes, that was funny. And, and then the whole and everybody keeps saying there was a whole thing with the whole Hulk Hogan um black eye thing, and they're like people said that um Macho Man hit him, and here you yeah, have that's, yeah, that's, the night yeah. before, and here you have Hulk Hogan coming out. It, during one of the matches, and Ray, um, what's the face? Macho Man's outside and doing some commentary. Like, mm. they would not have these two, like, you know. Ill, I mean, you never know, though, if they're like, look, if you want to keep your job. <laughs> like, they, right. And then the Hogo, the Yokozuna versus Bret Hart match, which only lasted like nine minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And then Hogan uh, and then win the championship in about 48, 48 seconds. seconds. 22. Oh. It only lasted for 22 seconds, according to oh, okay. okay. Um, I guess Bret Hart said that Yoko, like, gassed out because that match would have been longer. That was supposed to be 15 minutes. But oh, okay. he gassed out at nine minutes or around eight minutes and then, uh, like, all right, we're going home. They hit him with the salt. <laughs> the salt. They, they did the whole salt thing, and then Hogan comes out and does the thing, and he just wins the belt and never hear. We never hear from him again. 
<laughs> like, really? I did not hear a a single um celebration uh promo after that. I didn't even see Raw no, after that. No. I was just like, eh, whatever. I'm done. I just remember, I just remember Hogan, Hogan in like a like segment, a segment that, or I don't know if it was during the event or if they were, they it, was, it was, because remember they were showing they were clips from like, they had that they had superstar that brunch, brunch or something, something they were talking about. Yeah. And, um, and Hogan yeah. was like, <laughs> he was like <laughs> cutting a promo on Bret Hart. He was like, I don't care if it's you or the Jap brother, I'm going to get that belt. I thought, like, can you imagine saying that now? Calling okay. somebody the Jap. <laughs> wow. Um. Somebody calls. I don't know. I don't. I forgot who. Um. But that same dinner that happened was when Bret Hart came out to like came up to the podium to talk about it. Here comes Lex Luger and hits him. No, that was he hit perfect. He hit perfect. Oh, what? Oh, you're right. You're right. It was Bret Hart. Yeah. <laughs> he hit Bret Hart with the forearm, yeah. and it turns out that he had a steel, the steel arm. Plate. Steel plate. Steel plate. From the motorcycle and accident. Like, or whatever. Motorcycle accident or whatever. <laughs> oh my god! They, what was it? Was that a year before? Is that why he didn't? He left. Um, w- I thought w- that the WBF. Oh, it could, oh, be. It could yeah. be. Yeah. But I know that, I know that the, the that happened that before, happened he, was before in, he was in before he was narcissist, he was narcissist though. Narcissist. Right, and then he goes back to WCW and does the tries to do the forearm smash, but nothing happens. It's like, oh, it was yeah, only here. No. Okay, yeah. yeah. No, these guys. We we have immunity. We took our our. Um, I can't think tonight. Whatever our shot, like our COVID shot for steel arms. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> immunity. Um, All right. Have you seen Iron Claw yet? Uh, no, because I didn't know it was even out yet. <laughs> it's out. It's amazing. Oh, You're gonna need oh. some Kleenex. Wow. Okay. And I oh, love the Texas Tornado. Man, dude, this whole movie had me in shambles, dude. And okay, it's I gotta see it. so sad. They, they, the Academy Awards, nothing. Like what? What? Nah, the good yeah. movies usually never win. They like it's the they even, like they didn't even nominate them. They weren't even nominated. I'm like, how? Like A24 had like the people that produced the whole movie had like mm-hmm. two other movies in the in the thing in the same yeah, okay. time. Yeah, okay. Like they had two other movies out at that time, and they decided to like, hey, let's um, do a promo on these two movies instead of this movie mm-hmm. because we don't know what to do with this movie. Like, dude, yeah, I didn't even know what to do with this movie. You tell, you tell everybody about the Von Erics because they did their own like premiere in Dallas when that happened. Like, yeah, okay. Before yeah, okay. the the entire show, um, what's his face? Um, all the actors are just like telling Carrie Von Erich, dude, you're. Your story is awesome. Your story is amazing. Um, what's his face? Zach Efron won like Bill. He didn't play for. He, didn't play. he no, I'm sorry, Ke- not Carrie. Kevin, Kevin Von Eric, Kevin Von Eric. Oh, okay, okay, um, okay, okay. Zach Efron as Kevin Von Eric. He did a lot. He got a lot of weight in. Jeremy hmm. Allen White is hmm. Carrie Von Eric. He got a lot of weight in. Like everybody in that family, dude. Like they like they protect wrestling now. They're like, oh yeah, like yeah. Yeah. we know the story now. And I'm like, yes, this is freaking awesome. So you're gonna love it. Um, yeah, I gotta they see. Did, they did Ric Flair wrong. He doesn't look like that. <laughs> no, um, no, Bru- no, no. Bruiser Brody shows up, appears. Gino Hernandez appears. The Sheik hmm. appears. The Sheik is played by Chavo Guerrero, by the way. Oh, <laughs> um, oh my god! Right? <laughs> oh, my uh, god. they should have well, got the guy from Young Rock if they're gonna do that. Right? The Sheik, at least Iron Sheik, get him the Young Rock guy. 
Um, oh. who else? Michael Hayes. Oh wow! Okay. Oh wow! Okay. They did, like, well, yeah, because they were all over. Yeah. yeah, Harley Race appears, and I'm thinking, oh, they're gonna like focus in on them. No, no. I don't know. <laughs> um, they like Maxwell MJF appears for like five seconds. He's supposed to be the cousin. Huh. He just shows up for five seconds. They he does his pose in the ring, blah blah. blah. That's it. They don't do anything much with him, and I'm just like, Whoa. <laughs> okay. All right, and it's supposed to be about family. So the entire movie, yeah, yeah. yeah, there's appearances, but it's about family, and you're gonna like, you need Kleenex, you okay. need a towel, you need a bunch of towels. <laughs> like I love the entire movie, but at the same time, like okay, the only one they did do, like a a whole like probably ten minutes of it, Ric Flair, and the guy that okay. plays him was even like. Okay. Eh. So when you do see did it, the, you're gonna like be the, like the Von Ayers, Didn't they have a big? Um, I want to say feud. Were they the ones that feuded with the Freebirds back then? The Freebirds back then. Yes. Okay. Okay. And that's why I was like, why does Michael Hayes guy look doesn't look anything like that guy? <laughs> like a few people that look at him, he's yeah. like. Yeah. That's yeah, funny. And funny. and I think now they want to do like a whole Ric Flair movie. Oh yeah, I mean they should. He's been around long enough. I think if they can do a show for what's her name, the Soraya, whatever her name, I forgot. If she can have her fighting with the family, they can do something for Ric Flair. What's her wrestling name? Page? No, Soraya. Soraya on AEW right now. She can't use. Oh, Paige. that is. Oh, okay. Yeah, Paige. Um, but that's the next movie I want to do on the show. It's like wrestling with my family because you know it's UK based, so I want like bring into the whole thing about UK and um. Was that a movie or a show? I never seen that. That was that was a movie, and oh, okay. I want to know because they they had like a bunch of stuff in it towards when she joined NXT, and there were like a bunch of girls there with her. And I was like, so who was who was she talking about here? Who was that? And I'm like, wait a minute. These were like, they weren't real wrestlers. They were just there for like, uh, you know, to show off. So like, I wonder who was there at the time. Even Marie, probably. Okay. okay, okay. <laughs> oh, I forgot about her. Everybody else did. Are you looking for a new podcast or maybe you just love celebrity interviews and can't get enough of them? On the Tis Yourself podcast, the Todd aka Rob Mascio from Scrubs told me about his first time speaking to a group of surgeons. And I was just like, listen guys, when in doubt, the Todd's prescription for everything is less moaning, more boning. Or you want to find out more about how Joe Exotic had such a vendetta against Carol Baskin when she had this to say about him. Because I've never even spoken to Joe. Find out all of this and more on the Tis Yourself podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Side note, something that's going on in the news. Did you see, and I didn't remember the guy from Tough Enough, but... Of, uh, I guess former former tough former enough guy and, guy was, and was like running for like office. For is office. he killed some guy at a party, at a party? Recently? Like, recently? Yeah, yeah. And they said he was a former wrestler. So I'm wrestler, like, so I'm like, okay, who is this? And they said he was on tough enough. I don't remember him. I don't even remember which season he would have been on. Uh, Daniel Rodemeyer has been accused there you of go, yeah. for a tab. Daniel Rademeyer. Daniel. Yeah, I don't remember him. He must have got kicked off earlier. No, he was. I'll tell you who he was. Which seat? Like, who Who would have been the main person that I'd remember that he was with? He wasn't on the first couple of them, I don't think, because those are the ones I remember. If he was on there with, like, Daniel Pewter and all that, I wasn't really into it anymore. Anyway. The tough enough. The tough enough. Two 
done it before? Ryback. Huh. Oh, and I don't know. I watched that one. Really? Some of it. The one, the one I watched the first couple of ones. Um, you know, like when it was new, but yeah, I remember the Ryback one because weren't some of the other, what were they called? What was Ryback's team called? Oh, the black and yellow. With the, the guy with no lip. Is that this guy or is that? He gets slammed by, he's a, oh, he gets oh, slapped oh, by Big Show. When he was, when Big Show was Big body Show slamming was everybody? everybody? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just yeah, like, I don't, I, yeah, though I've seen him, but I couldn't, but I couldn't, I didn't know who he was. He was, he was just an extra. Just an extra. <laughs> He's big though. He's, He's a big, big guy. Though. He's a big guy. But then again, was that the Daniel Pewter one? That was the that yeah, one. He yeah, was yeah, yeah. That's the Daniel Pewter one. So it's like everybody remembers that episode, that show from Daniel Pewter. They don't remember from like him, yeah. Miz was yeah. it. They don't remember Miz or um, that's funny. What's his face? <laughs> it's, they just remember Daniel Pewter get and Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle and, yeah. whole, yeah. and that whole incident, and they're like, "Yeah, remember when this happened?" It's like, well, I've done this. <laughs> that Royal Rumble was insane. <laughs> All right, so former WWE Tough Enough participant Dolph Veltman and Allen has turned himself in after being wanting a connection to a Las Vegas murder. Daniel Rodemeyer has been accused of the murder of Christopher Tapp, who was killed in October last year. Damn. And ag- he's an ex-GOP candidate also. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that was, that was, when I saw that, because you know they do that, like they'll say, like, oh, a rapper was killed, and then you look and it's like, yeah, this guy made a song when he was sitting at the bus stop. Something, and it was one of those, like, oh, okay, yeah, wrestler. Yeah. I mean, I guess technically he never made it anywhere, but he was on Tough Enough, it's closer than I ever got. So. Have you gotten the new um, W2K24 yet? No, I, top, it's hard. From the top. <laughs> oh, okay. No, it's it's hard to get used to these ones. I'm used to, like, Here Comes the Pain and those ones. Those were the ones I really liked. Oh, damn. That's hella old. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, we I remember think... those. I love that. Like, Here Comes the Pain and... um, Know Your Role. And... Know Your Role. Here Comes the Pain. All the PS2 games, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think they changed the button configuration after, like, 2008. And then I just... I didn't like it anymore. And then I got, I want to say I got 23 because I got it in 22. So it was probably 2K20 or whatever. I guess they call it 2K23. Um, and I kind of liked it, but it, it got old fast because it's just not the same. No, it's not the same. Um, I, I want to get it. Because yeah. there's 150 characters in there. Holy crap. Man. I Does want that a new one that and like start from the beginning, do all the Easter eggs that I can find in there, do yeah. a whole entire episode on it and see how that goes. Now, when they have all those have skins, all those though, does that include like, include like different, different versions, versions of the same, same people? people? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's like different versions of Stone Cold, different versions of Triple H. Yeah, Rock, um, Dusty Rose, Cody Rose, Stardust, <laughs> all those people. And you know what I would know, really like to really play, play, which I I have it somewhere have at my mom's, but mom's, but like um, like, um what, was what was that? It was it was what was the WrestleMania game on WrestleMania two thousand? That's what it was. Yeah. I still have that. I still have the WCW game too. The, no mercy and oh no mercy. Mercy. oh no mercy! Oh, I have thunder, but I have um, I want to say nitro. Yeah, it was nitro, or yeah, it was nitro. 
with date Ken and all the fake wrestlers. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> I, I remember I date Ken because he was dressed up like a, like an eighties jazzer size guy with the headband and the pink sweats. Yes. I think I even still have, um, I think they had Thunder on PlayStation 1. I had like 10 characters on it. Uh, yeah, and I, I still have, well, no, do I have? I do, I still have WrestleMania on Nintendo, like NES. And I have the WrestleMania Arcade game on PlayStation. Okay. Which was more like a Street Fighter type game. But yeah, those were the those were the days. <laughs> yeah, I I love ref, um, playing with those. We thought they looked real too. Like, oh my god, can't believe they. <laughs> the funny thing with them. Which one? I think WrestleMania 2000 came out before No Mercy, so No Mercy was a little um, more sophisticated, but I think it was WrestleMania 2000 that had Blue Meanie. Yes. And, and it was funny, because, you know, they couldn't make facial expressions. It was just one face. So he would come out with a smile on his face, but then even when he, like, bloodied him up, he, still, he had, like, blood on his face, but he still had that big grin on his face. <laughs> Which I thought was funny. My favorite part of that game was when you would give him a low blow, it would make a bell sound. Oh my god, yeah, that was freaking <laughs> hilarious. And then in that one, you could steal finishers too, which I thought was cool. Yeah, you could. And I would get, I would, I would try to get my manager involved because if you if you threw the guy out, your manager would beat him up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just. I gotta play that. I miss those games. Those games. And I think, I think No Mercy was no Mercy. the first one Stephanie was on. I think. Was it? No way. It was. She was not. I don't think she was on WrestleMania two. Well, she could have been on WrestleMania two thousand. But I think on No Mercy. Could you? Nah, I don't think you could use her as a playable character, but. Yeah, maybe WrestleMania 2000. You've been watching wrestling throughout this whole year? Everything good? No. no. I mean, I've been I mean, catching I've been up a little bit, up but, little bit but, but I've been watching I've been older watching stuff, older but not a lot of the newer stuff. The newer stuff. Okay. Because I have Peacock or whatever, so I can watch. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I'm keeping up with the news, with whatever's happening. I usually do predictions every month. Not every month, but like every the four big shows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm, yeah. So the four big shows, and then maybe five. I don't know. But I'm gonna start. Yeah, I'm gonna do those for. And um, WrestleMania is gonna be a freaking a busy week. Um, I'm trying to see if I can get some like some of the people that I talked about last year. Um, I know there was a mini 50 cent wrestling in California out in LA. <laughs> so I want to see if I can get him on the show. <laughs> just like reach out to him on Instagram and be like, Hey, how I was like, is it okay to interview you on the podcast? Like no short jokes, just like, you know, like yeah. actual yeah. Freaking wrestling stuff. See where, how he like how he started and the fact that he was doing on WrestleMania week, you know? Yeah. I, uh, I, Um, so yeah, I was like, I'm trying to see who else I can um, get on the show besides uh, the one that I told you about and yeah, yeah. like listening to his music and I was like trying to come up with homework about him and see like what I can talk to him about because it's probably going to be a long ass episode because I'm going to cover, I'm going to try to cover both wrestling and, um, music with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sad that I don't get to go. They're going to be in Philadelphia, but. I didn't have the money. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, dude. That would have been lovely to go. Like, when they were out here, I couldn't even get the 
couldn't even get tickets because they were all sold out within days. So within well, that too. Well, yeah, they just sell out. out. If you don't get them like get them within like, 30, thirty minutes, you can forget it. Forget it. Uh, they did say they were trying to get Sylvester Stallone to show up. That'd be kind of cool. Kind of cool. With they should have Fisher Hogan there, Hogan there too. Though. too right? well, yeah, they're gonna do a lot of stuff. Like I'm, like I'm gonna be busy that week because I'm gonna be covering everything. Uh, what Raw Go Home Show, NXT mm-hmm. Go Home Show, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, Friday SmackDown. Uh, what's it called? The the Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. Sat- Saturday WrestleMania, Sunday WrestleMania, Monday WrestleMania. Tuesday WrestleMania, and then possibly everything in between there would happen, and all the other shows that are happening that week at uh, in Philadelphia because they're gonna, probably going to do it in Philadelphia. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. All the indie shows, like hey, come like WrestleMania week. Um, Hall of Fame, dude. What you think so far? So far, all I know is Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman, Bull Nakano. Oh right, uh, yeah. Right. The U.S. Yeah, Express. The which the Orient Express, Express you said? The U.S. Uh, US Mike Express. Rotunda, Rotunda, and Wyndham. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Barry Wyndham yeah. and Mike Rotunda, yeah. Yeah, Bull Bullnug- I mean, I mean, I guess. I know <laughs> she's been around for a while. Well, she's not around now. Um, um yeah, yeah, she was around when. Like, the only thing I remember about her is the classic Alondra Blaze and Medusa right, matches. Right, right. Yeah. And then, there obviously, there's some clips of her getting, like, a Singapore cane twice yeah, okay. by two different opponents, getting just uh, hitting her and hitting her, and she's, like, not even phased. And she just looks at both of them and just attacks them. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell? And like looks at them like you know what y'all are stupid and punches them, <laughs> but the whole match series between Alundra Blaze and Medusa in WWE and WCW, those were amazing matches. Like those yeah, German yeah. suplexes must have like, God, <laughs> those were great. Yeah, so it's cool. I mean at least they're putting real people in there instead of David Arquette. People, uh, like that. people like that. <laughs> yeah, pretty soon um, you're gonna see um, Logan Paul in there. Oh, oh. <laughs> so I, I made a mistake of uh, like predicting he was gonna win last year, and ever since then he's just been winning. And I'm just well, like, when he beat what? Rollins, was it Rollins? He beat no, he beat um, Ricochet and oh, Rey right. Mysterio. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Oh, didn't he fight? Didn't he fight Rollins though? Yeah, he did, but he lost. Oh, he lost yeah, that one. Okay. And like, I made a mistake of uh, saying like, "Yeah, I, I'm good. I'm gonna vote for. I'm gonna predict what's his face, Logan Paul." Mm-hmm. For and ever since then, I was like, "I hate this. <laughs> like, I, I, I hate this." But it's like, as Logan <laughs> Timber, it's like I know he's not gonna win, but he's gonna do something stupid, isn't he? And there you have it. Uh, Randy Orton at WrestleMania 40. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and he brought KSI with him, and now the Prime bottle, the Prime logo is in the middle of the ring. Mm-hmm. Uh, Which shows if you got enough money, I guess you can do anything. I know. I'm like, oh, God. This is my fault. <laughs> <laughs> it was great talking to you. Yeah, it's fun to be back. For the first time, I'm not using a script. So, you know, good for me on that one. (laughs) In the 10,000 episodes, I I mean, the 10,000 downloads, I figured for this episode, like, let's just talk from the heart. Let's just, like, wholesome. Let's just say what we really mean. Yeah. And here we are, like, freaking... Triple H and Shawn Michaels bringing back the X. There you go. <laughs> it's like, but you know, it's it's toned down. It's not like back in the nineties. It's toned down. No, no, because we're adults. We're but yeah, it was the legends fun. now. Yeah, we're yeah, legends. Fun. Right? Fun. Gotta do more. more. There's gonna be more. Um, there's gonna be more episodes. There's gonna be more downloads. 
Um, when did I say this? That it was at ten thousand. Let me go look it up. Because I know I was just like, just recently. I remember when we were excited about five thousand. I know I was excited about five thousand downloads last year, and I yeah, said like yeah. two days ago. What was that? Two days ago, Thursday. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. so it happened on Thursday morning, two a.m., three, four, five a.m. in the morning. <laughs> I posted it everywhere. Um, two days later is at ten thousand and twenty. Oh wow! Oh wow! Huh? So we're growing. We're we're slowly growing. But like you said, I, I was excited at five thousand downloads. I was excited yeah. at one thousand yeah. downloads. I'm always yeah. excited. Yeah. Is um one thousand, five thousand. We hit ten thousand. And last year I said like the goal is to hit ten thousand. So here we are in ten thousand. Let's hit a new goal. And that new goal is gonna be fifteen thousand. That'll be before That'll the end of the year. Of the year. That'll be before the end of the year. <laughs> Um, if I do hit 15,000 before the end of the year, okay, let's just go with 16, 17,000. Let's go with 17,000. Okay. Okay. That's a much better goal, just in case. Um, uh, 17,000 plus interview with a wrestler, because that's basically what's going to happen pretty soon. Um, yeah. yeah. I said I have a five-year span on this show where I want to, like, um, by the end of, like, 2028, I want to be able to go to WrestleMania and interview people and interview the wrestlers and be picked. No, that'd be um, cool. No, that'd be cool. I have goals. I, I'm, like, already putting out there what I want. I'm shooting my shot. Let's go. I, I have Sergeant Slaughter on Twitter. I have uh, another wrestler on Twitter. I forgot his name. Jesse Goddard. I have Jesse Goddard on Twitter. Oh, wow. Okay. Follow oh, me. Wow. Okay. Follow me recently. And I'm like, I don't know why. But I think Mr. Pectacular, dude, he's on Netflix right now. He's on, what's it called? Um, OVW. All we um, need, you know. Need, you know. But he was in TNA with uh, uh, what's his face, Robbie E. Robert Stone, who goes now by Robert Stone, and um, and what's his face from the LWO, uh, Joaquin Fe Joaquin Joaquin uh, uh. from the LWO. They were um all in there in TNA, known as the Bromans, and <laughs> um. Jesse said something on Twitter about, you know, so he I don't know what he said, but I forgot what he said. But I said like, why don't you bring in? Um, I'm just waiting for the fifth day when um Robert and Joaquin meet up on the main roster and say something to each other like, "What's up, bro?" Yeah. And Jesse liked that, and he decided to follow me, and I'm like, <laughs> "Bro, that's awesome! Thanks, I appreciate that." <laughs> Because I'm a big TNA fan. I was like, if you guys were together on TNA back in the day, I'm going to reference that. I'm going to reference that everywhere I go. Robert Stone, Joaquin, Jesse Goddard. Bro, man. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Wasn't that what his thing was? Uh, DJ Z. DJ Z. Uh, Z. Zima? Zima? Something like that. Z. But Joaquin was awesome, dude. And the fact that he's in now in LWO, it's like, oh, shit. This is great. Hmm. Huh. Um, who else? Uh, lots of people that I want to interview. Uh, of course, I'm going to interview lots of friends at first. Yeah, lots of people yeah. from Twitter. Like, lots of people that are coming back are going to come back on the show. Um, uh, friends. Yeah. So, most yeah. importantly, like fans. Also, I we're get. Have you seen our merch? <laughs> no, I, I need no. to I need to send you a merch. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna need yeah. your address. I'm gonna send you shirts for the no, girls, cool. No, cool. for you as well, and the girls. Um, because you know you're I'm, a part of it. Cool. They're a part of it. So, cool. so yeah. Um, I need another size. Okay. Um, okay. But the merch is freaking awesome, dude. It's 
from under the apron has uh, a what's it called? Well, I'm not gonna do it for them. For you, I'm gonna have like a like a QR code that has probably in the back and the link tree because I like I want pic- t- I want people taking pictures of you in the back. I don't want anybody taking pictures of them. Yeah, I'll yeah. Fucking go out there, <laughs> but yeah, it's like I'd rather you have that shirt than the girls. But Ooh. yeah, dude, I I want to send you stuff. I want to send you the merch because um, we are fucking three years. This is season three, bro. We're yeah. in season three. Yeah. You started with me, twenty twenty two. Yeah, January. Um, January. Yeah, January. Trip. January, bro. Oh. Like. Oh. I started this because I I wanted some order in my life. I wanted to be organized. And there was so much stuff in my head. And here I am putting it out. And there's still so much stuff in my head. Because I want to yeah. do... I still want to do Glow. I still want to do Heels. Season 2 of Heels. I still... I want to do Buffy now. I want to do other shows. I want to do movies. I want to do Cobra Kai. And in all that, it's like the reason I want to do all that is it, it fits with the whole, um, what do we call our show? Uh, that segment? Um, Back, backlot, backdrop, 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 backdrop. Backdrop and backlot. Yeah, backdrop and backlot. So, yeah. you know, having like backdrop and backlot, it, it fits with the whole fighting people in, in the backdrop, yeah. in, in the back alleys and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer kicking ass. I know they did some German suplexes in there. Uh, <laughs> what's it called? All the action shows, all the action, not the action movies, but all the action shows. All the people, all the wrestlers, like every wrestler that has ever been in movies. I'm gonna like do a whole episode on that. Shit, we did hold no holds barred, right? Yeah, that was yeah. freaking awesome. I love yeah. that. I love that episode. One of my favorite episodes is doing no holds barred. So we gotta do another one, another one oh, that yeah, you that, like. Yeah. So I, I can't wait for that. Well, well remember Hogan? Was, Hogan was, 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 what Thunder in like, Paradise? No, 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 not that. Um, Thunder Mountain or something. Or something. Three Ninjas Kick Back or Three Ninjas Thunder? He was the third one. Third one. Yeah, the Three Ninjas third movie. And he was like a, like a he worked at like a, at like a park or park something or, something or he was like uh, an action like on the magic the, magic mountain type thing something something yeah yeah, yeah. um what a, oh the one with the Undertaker the one that was him that he had the Undertaker in Suburban Commando oh oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> um there was another one. there's a couple other movies well you know like, what movie, think, what movie? oh go ahead oh go ahead no go ahead. A movie I actually, I actually um, Triple H, 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 H you're breaking H, up. You're breaking up again. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Triple, H Triple H when he did H, the chaperone. Oh my god. Uh, Edge. <laughs> I like that. Movie. All the straight to DVD movies. Oh god. Oh, like, god. like, what was the uh, the Marine like? Marine, where they have like what fifteen of those now? now. Yes. <laughs> like the Marine three or four or five or six, where everybody's in it. All Even the wrestlers are in it. DiBiase was, was in it. The son. DiBiase was in it. Shawn Michaels, Becky Lynch, uh, what the, movie, Miz, the, the Miz yeah, taking yeah. over the Marine movies. What movie was Summer Rae in? Summer Rae. That's was probably in the, in the Marine also. Probably. Bro. God. So I like I'm gonna her. watch. Yeah, I I did like it too. Like I'm gonna watch all these movies and then like do a episode about it. The Marine. Yeah, I gotta watch some of those. I think they did another they condemned, condemned too. too. There was a condemned. No. I know the first one, but I think they might have done a second one. What was uh, condemned about? I don't think I seen the first. That one. was with Stone Cold. It was like a, like a Squid Game type thing, or, game type thing or, um, they were all like prisoners, and it, whoever, escaped whoever escaped would get their freedom. Get their freedom. Oh, the were, second like, one. Like, this, yeah, the second one has Randy Orton. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, Summer Rae might, might be in that. Oh, is he? Is she? Let me. And let me Sasha me Banks is in one of something. Something. Mm-hmm. 
No, I don't see I think, her. Sasha I think, Banks. I think, yeah. yeah. She was in some, they were like military, were like military people, people or something. People or something. Mm-hmm. So it might have been the Marine. Right. The Collective? Oh, I mean, I don't know what it's called, but I know they were. Yeah, it's called in the collective, and then the Mandalorian. Uh, uh, other than that, yeah, the Mandalorian and the collective, the movie with the collective. Okay. Um, okay. for Summer Ray, I don't know. That's something. She was in the Marine Four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Marine Four moving target. Beckman, I never seen that. Um, yeah, that's about it. I, I think they might think they... a second. second. What was the what Kane's was movie? Kane's movie? I, I well, well, what was that? What was what was Kane's what was Halloween movie, movie called? Kane. See no evil. See yeah, they, evil. yeah, they. Oh, see no evil one and two. Yeah, it... but he wasn't in this. Right. No. I tried looking for those, but um, they don't have it on Wiki. Yeah, it's hard to so find. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna start to like. Um... No, he wasn't the second. The second. No, I haven't seen this. Seen this. I don't think. I don't think. Ugh. All right, man. It was awesome getting you on here, listening to, you, hearing you talk about wrestling again, yeah, yeah. listening to you, talking to you. Oh man, I'm gonna like. I wish we could talk some more. It's like probably gone over that hour. I've oh like, yeah. It's gonna be. It's gonna be one of those like hour and a half long episodes. I know it because we have a lot to say and like miss talking to you and I was like I love that you're here and shit and like there is no introduction to the show it's just us you all know who you all know who this is you all know who this was this was my co-host back in the day so yeah well I'm hoping to be back back more more right yeah what so I'm hoping oh I'm sorry I'm hoping to be back more regularly I gotta gotta find my stuff stuff. yeah we need need you for the next 10,000 more episodes (laughs) <laughs> All right. I mean, download. I meant download, guys. <laughs> like, we need you for the next 150 more episodes. We're we're 150. Well, it's like this is 145, but we have like 150 episodes. Um, most of them are like like the five episodes that are there are like um, bonus episodes. They're just from other podcasts that I've done, and I asked them to let me borrow their their thing. Um. Well, there's. Those other few episodes of what? Um, what's it called? Uh, Screaming into the void with Babel that I did a while back about music, which I'm trying okay. to do again. Okay. Um, I'd like to do a music do one. That'd be, That'd be fun. Like yeah, let's do another music one. I I know I'm not gonna be able to post it on YouTube, but like we're gonna do another music one. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. Like I know YouTube has like at least that many amount of episodes and they're like why are you missing one it's like because i can't post it here uh, uh, <laughs> i'll get copyright infringement by them yeah. but i where i can post it is on tiktok so follow me there tiktok on tiktok evolution of a geek i usually do the podcast live there um oh, wow. like i know you're on there but yeah. Like if we if maybe next time we won't have to do it on Riverside, we can just do it on TikTok and I can just have that recording there and just like transfer it over to Spotify for podcasters and then just like edit it from there or edit it from the TikTok or edit it from Riverside for where I'm using it right now cuz this is a pain in the ass to do. So I'm trying <laughs> to see I'm going to try to see how I'm going to like keep this recording. Okay. Okay. So yeah, um, I know I've been saying, yeah, dude, I can't wait to see you again. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Predict yeah. either either the um, the interview with the homie or the predictions episode for WrestleMania. 
either way, um, I think the predictions episode is going to be like a jam-packed episode. Because you know, I'm going to have you, I'm going to have Menace, I'm going to have another person probably in there. Menace, who I usually do the episodes of predictions because she's like part of the Patreon. She's a patron. She's part of the patron page and she's part of the family. So like I figured like, hey, okay. let's okay. give her that once a month episode. And yeah. She, yeah, like she would love to be on it. And like she, that would be like your you and her first time meeting and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's going to do it for us for this episode. We will be back next week with another episode review of Glow on Netflix. I'm going to try to get him back on here as uh, you know, just to get him back on, just to get him to see if he can wants to do the Glow episodes. So, as always, follow us on our socials and support us from Under the Apron on Instagram, the threads, YouTube, Apron underscore stories on the Twitter. Follow me and join my live streams on TikTok at Evolution of a Geek, where you will also find me doing the unedited version of the podcast that will then be posted on YouTube. Listen to us on Apple, Spotify, or any other audio media you can listen to podcasts on. More info on the links where you can listen or watch in the show notes. Don't forget to rate us and leave us a review. And if you feel want to do a little bit more, support us on the TikTok at Evolution of a Geek by subscribing. Join the Follow Us Behavior Squad and show up to the live stream to watch. And I will shout you out at the end of every episode. Kind of just like Menace Smiling, Rabbit, Lil Linguini, Forever Jane, Brandy, Kimmy, Lil Miss LB, Miniature Mommy, Age of Shadow 666, Casey M, JJ the Jet Pink, Squirrely Bree, Sandra Woodbury, Quick Draw, Floki's Viking Queen, Forever Miss Dawn, Melinda Gonzalez 429, Southern Twiz 0077, Dale underscore the Wrestling Nerd, La Petite Morte, Mittens Hayes 420 Main, Holes for y- a Slot? I still don't know how to say that. Aaron Mosher, E Bunny 06, Half Sized Heather, Lisa, Toasted Bagel, Moth Queen, Messy, Messenger, This Girl, Tiffany Defense Girl, Princess and the Herb, Cheese Sire, Cats, Mile Clug, November, Trafficking Melodies, Trafficking Melodies, Pleasure Passport 3.0. Get 20% off on adult toys when you enter discount code EVO at PleasurePassport.shop. That's discount code EVO. Link will be in the show notes. I'm hearing lots of good sayings. People have been going there and using my discount code. Love it. Shout out to you guys for doing that. Thank you guys for supporting the podcast. Join the live. Join the TikTok live. Subscribe or hang out and watch the live and get your name shout out for just hanging out, watching, supporting, uh, gifting, or staying throughout the entire live. You, I, guys, are awesome. Check out the show notes for links to other podcast series that you heard on this episode. Send us a message of your favorite wrestling stories, questions, comments, ratings, or requests at our email. It is from under the apron at gmail.com. Thank you for listening. Join the live. Be a huge part of this community. Tell your friends. Join us next time for more behind the scenes stories, movie to TV show reviews when we come to you from under the apron. I'm Evo. That's Michael. I'm proud of y'all and I love your faces. Michael, send us out. All right, guys. Uh, good to be back. And don't worry, you won't have to miss me for so long this time. Oh.